Hello and welcome back to Factorio and let's get started. If you wonder why I'm not going to do the like and dislike thing, uh, it's because I have a s probably going to say uh, these things the first three episodes in a series and the three last ones a bit of a reminder that you can do these things they are in the description down below so a bunch like a lot of the information you can find in every single video it's a lot of work to make to make that information available but it's there thankfully it's just copy paste um <clears throat> but anyway we now have the copper on its way. Uh, thankfully I had the amount of belts required at this point. What we are going to need to make now is the inserters. And yeah, I'm still making belts because you never know when you need it. The answer is basically every single time. You think you don't need it, you will be needing it. And yeah, this will if you look at the total raw of this, we need four iron and 1.5 copper. Now, you can't make half an item in this game, but it's essentially what it is. You will basically use one and a half copper to make one inserter but you make what it is is an electronic circuit which you need when you make an inserter costs three copper cable and copper cable makes two of them and they require one copper plate so to make three you technically need um, 1.5 copper plates but since you can't make half an item you will or use what, half an item it will only uh, it will make four and then not use the fourth cable as an example I'm going to make one and as you can see I have one electronic circuit and one copper cable because the electronic circuit needs three copper cable but two it makes two so by making enough for three you need to make four couple ca copper cables and there we go it might be a bit convoluted if you're not used to it i'm sorry i'm not sure how you could explain it any other way but it is what it is. So what we are going to do is expand this with inserters all the way up. I'm going to do that to make And this will require a lot of resources, but it will be worth it. Not going to put those there. What I'm going to do is And see there we go <laughs> yeah ma making a pattern is probably something you want to do but not something you need to do now I'm going to do this here because I find this to be 
easier to build. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, we will need way more materials. We have we haven't even made the left side completely. Then we have the right side as well, which will require as many inserters as we had have made on the on the left side but also on the right side so or as some would say the correct side but that joke has been made to the death death so we do need more wood because the power poles requires wood to make them Thankfully, wood is easy. We happen to have a lot of wood around us. Sadly, something I, which I wish the game had was a, a way other than fuel or the few items you use wood in. Like, you make, you can make wooden chest, electric pole, small electric pole, and I think you need it in shotgun, yeah. It's very few items that needs wood to craft them. And wood is good to have because if you don't have any resources, uh, Making a chest somewhere is impossible if you don't have wood or any other resources for that matter. So I'm not saying wood is useless. I'm saying it's a pity wood isn't made more useful. Um, but it is what it is. So, I wish they, you can could take basically wood and make charcoal. Basically make coal with a bunch. Like, not even make the conversion rate that good. Just make it possible. Because you will end up with a massive amount of woods in boxes when you get further along but yeah whatever uh, we are going to not make the right side for the iron we're going to take the copper side at this point probably I should probably remove these and put them up like set them up more optimally much better position not do not do them from the bottom to the top but rather from the top to the bottom and yeah it's, it freezes because it, there's no electricity and it flashes and it's annoying um yeah we're gonna put them there and then we're gonna have to put these ones there like that There we go. What I'm going to do right now is actually this. Since I have already done it, it's not cheating. And what I'm going to do is just this. 
since I still have to place it myself. I think it's not cheating, it just makes it less tedious. Especially when it comes to the power poles, you know where you gonna put the put them. Um let's see here, we need how many more? 28 so 10 15 20 25 1 2 3 28 let's put down the power poles in the meanwhile while that crafting and Many will refer to like this kind of crafting as pocket crafting. And you might hear me say I'm going to just going to pocket craft it or something like that. Um, and yeah, th that means I'm going to manually make it myself this way down, like queue it up down here. We will probably in this very episode get into the bit the more advanced stuff and actual automation what we have done here is automate the smelting of the raw resources into usable materials uh, so let's see here if we cut this one off and put it like this there we go this means we have iron and copper being made very very good probably going to move this lab a bit I'm probably going to make another one when I have more copper right yeah copper copper is the bottleneck at this point and there we go I'm going to make three more labs yeah at this point we don't need to put down the burn mining drills we don't need them so what I'm going to do is get some wood because I don't want to waste iron on this. I will never have a use for a burner mining drill ever again. So what I'm going to do is this. Once the labs are done we can experience whatever I have in store for us. <clears throat> and... There we go. We have the box. What? All the things we never want to see again. The burning mining drills is one of them. The pistol, I never wanted you to exist in the beginning. Or rather to begin with. Is there anything else? Is there something we don't want? Which we have started with. Um. No, I think that's all. So, we have our trusty submachine gun. We have our trusty 10 firearm magazines we have this lovely wooden chest with 13 burner mining drills and one pistol now you can't actually destroy items in the game other than this meth method now how do you shoot normally when there's an enemy you hold space and just mouse over wherever they are and you will automatically sh shoot if a pistol, uh, like a weapon with ammo is 
um, highlighted in green like this. And I can show you like this. If we do this, I could choose to go to my pistol by clicking tab. And back to my submachine gun by clicking tab again. I can't tab if I don't have any ammunition. If I do this, move them there. This turns red. There's no ammunition. I click tab. I go back to this, which is green and boom. Now you know how to choose your weapon or rather how to switch between them. Then they need um, ammo to be able to switch between. But yeah, we have the wooden chest. We with stuff in it. We have our trusty weapon and our ammo. Normally, as I said, enemies, you shoot them by pressing, mousing over them and holding space on the space bar. In this case, we're shooting something which is friendly. Which means we need to use a different key. And it's C. If we press C by my uh, and mousing, if we mouse over, hold our mouse on the wooden chest and press C. We start shooting and boom! The box is gone. And so is the content. Everything in the box is deleted. This is, this is something to be aware of. If a chest is destroyed and it has something in it, whatever was in the chest is now gone. So if you had a chest with all the, all the high value stuff and it somehow some way gets destroyed, all the stuff in that is gone forever. So something to be aware of and something we can use when we want to delete items we don't want, like the pistol or the burning mining grills. The burner mining grills are good, but once you have mine like my electric mining drills and you have a setup and electricity and all that stuff you don't need them anymore you can just remove you can just delete them but i should probably make gun turrets um, the biters will try to move around and settle new places and if pollution reaches the biters they will after some build up time they will attack us so let's check the electricity now this menu can be found by clicking on a small electric pole that way you see the electric network info. So whatever electricity is being produced on that network and consumed. Uh, consumption is on the left, production is on the right. But whatever is co consumed and produced, you can see in this. Uh, and you can choose with like what, like one minute back, 10 minutes back, one hour, five seconds, like you can see what, whatever time frame or time period and how much information and how far far back you want the information to go back. We can see a graph down here with both both the consumption and production. Up here you can, say, uh, can see satisfaction and production. Accumulator charge is yeah, when you have batteries, basically. Right now they are not important because we don't have any. But satisfaction, um, that means if this is full, we have enough. If this satisfaction bar is yellow or red, like if it's not 100% full, it means we are not producing enough electricity but we will probably get there some at some point and I will show you how it looks uh, we we need to set up a bit of automation because we haven't done any science no science has 
have been made or done or whatever you want to call it at this point we have the science labs we will put down four of them i'm going to do this to just measure out a bit more of these come on could do There we go. And we have this. Now I'm going to build this very temporary. This setup is not going to be pretty. It's not going to be efficient. It's not going to be permanent. It's going to be just about what we need to make this work. I am going to make two of them, but still, it's not going to be probably going to show you how you set a recipe. So I'm going to make a fifth one. Uh, yeah, it's as I said, it's not going to be efficient. It's not going to be pretty or anything. We are just going to make something that works whatever is not where I want it but if we might do it let's do it like this and then oh there we go And we are going to output it like this. And we can show you right now. If you click on it, you get this menu where you choose a recipe. Now you do you only get it when there's no recipe set. If we click when it's when there's no recipe on it, you get this. And for this assembly, we want the automation science pack. Now, if we click away, uh, I just pressed E to get it uh, to go away. If we click it again, we get this. Like, say that you... Let's say we picked the wrong thing. We picked electronic circuit because we misclicked, then how do you set it to be without picking it up, without do moving anything, how do you set a different recipe? This little curved round arrow gets you to this menu where you set the, can set the recipe again. And then we can set it to be what we want it to be. Now, I'm going to do the copy paste, which is shift right click to copy and shift left click to paste. And then we are going to do this. And probably going to. Let's see here. How are we going to do this? Because I need. I need copper. To copper plates to go to these two assembly machines and I need iron to go to these two probably should flip this yeah we're going to flip this sorry for making it and, and here you have the never gets perfect at in the in your first try so there we go uh this way we can have the iron going basically like this i'm going to need more belts as you can see belts will be used a lot so i will probably make something that makes belts 
we need one one more of those then um we are going to need this because this automation science packs needs copper plate and iron gear wheel it doesn't need a lot of them but it needs them so we have one iron gear wheel per assembly machine this isn't perfect you can calculate everything if you want all the information is there uh, but i'm not going to do that because i can't be bothered with calculating um, this will be more than enough for the time being so where do we get the um, the copper to come in i'm probably going to do something like this And you will see exactly how it's going to work in a bit. There we go. We have hooked up. We're gonna, going to need more of the inserters. And we are going to have to put electricity all over the place like this and like so there we go and boom so these two inserters over here over here picks up the iron puts it into the machines which makes iron gear wheels which these two inserters then put into the automation science packs uh, machines the copper then comes in and into the middle uh, via an uh, underground belt which then feeds uh, gets uh, and then the two inserters here feed, feed the machines. So the machine gets all the resources it needs and then it outputs on the belt, which then goes down here, which gets picked up by the inserters and gets inserted into the labs. Now, this is this is something which will keep on going as long as I feed it with the with iron plate and copper plate. But what would what, what do we do now? Like yeah, we could finish these two smelting arrays. We could set up more uh, more like setting up stone. We could expand uh, the power or we could start automating a bunch of other stuff now i'm going to make a really really basic thing i'm not sure can i automate yeah i can okay that's fine then we are going to automate a bunch of stuff You may ask why we are going to do it. It's really only because we will need a lot of some like some things in like some things will be uh, needed in large quantities like transport belt gonna need a lot of transport belts so we are going to produce that we have done we have used a bunch of inserters we have crafted them by hand we don't want to do that we want to we want to um not have to produce anything by hand at this point we want to um automate as much as 
possible. So we are going to, in the next episode, automate a bunch of different stuff. For example, inserter, underground belt, splitter, pipe, pipe to ground, maybe even boilers, electric mining drills, ele electronic circuits, a bunch of stuff. Ammunition, we will be needing ammunition because the pollution will spread. But that's going to have to wait until the next episode because this episode is 30 minutes at this point. So with that, thanks for watching. Goodbye. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.